Hey, how's it going guys? Liam here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the media technologies that I used during the construction, research, planning and evaluation stages of my A2 media coursework. So let's jump right into it. Now the first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the research and planning. Pretty much everyone's teaser trailers were found on YouTube, which as if you didn't already know, is the biggest video platform on the internet. For planning, one of the biggest things that my group did was we actually recorded teachers and students in our school to get an idea of what they expected from teaser trailers or the thriller genre. All of our research and planning was documented on a website called Weebly, which is a platform that allows people to create their own websites either for free or for a paid subscription. For media, everyone just used the, the very basic functions that Weebly provided. Most of my poster magazine research was done through Google Images. I either searched for posters that for movies that I already knew about or posters for t teaser trailers that ha I had analysed. We also used a blue filter and a white flashback effect to show the audience that what we were showing them at the time was Arya and Bella when they were babies. Without these, the audience would not have known that the babies were them when they were little. One of the main things we did in our teaser trailer was we used a lot of cropping to make it look like there were two of Natasha at some point in the teaser trailer. The way we went about doing this was we made sure that there were no changes in camera angle in between or during recordings. Once we did this we were able to crop the video at just the right point to make sure that the video is blended together. We also automated the scale of the titles at some points in our teaser trailer. More specifically the reviews and our movie title the other one. Another thing I made sure that I did was I always stayed in sync with the soundtrack during all points of the teaser trailer, especially during the second half where you have the on-beat drum pattern. We used a lot of jump cuts during the second half of our teaser trailer to establish Bella's insanity and mental instability. The most important thing that my group had to do with Photoshop was erase the green screen from the pictures that we took in the green room in our media classroom. To do this we used a magic wand tool and erased all of the green that we selected. With our poster we blended the pictures of Natasha back to back when she's Arya and Bella to represent their connection to one another. Some of the tools that we used to do this included the eraser, the blur tool and the smudge tool. 